last class I discussed about the how acetone can generate in the organic semiconductor. Right? After generation of the organic semi, uh, acetone in the organic semiconductor, then what will happen? Acetone should transfer from one molecule to another molecule after generation of the acetone. Okay, how the acetone will uh, transfer in the organic semiconductor that I will discuss today. Okay, so when the acetone, okay, this acetone, okay, when acetone will generate, okay, uh, in the organic semiconductor, right, so in this acetone, it has Higher strong binding energy. Okay. Higher strong. What is the binding energy? Acetone means it is the electron hole pair. Okay. When the electron goes from uh, this, in case of the uh, organic semiconductor homo level to uh, lomo level, okay, this is the electron and this is the hole. Hole will create in the lomo level and uh, homo level and electron will create in the lomo level. Okay, these are bounded, okay, strongly bounded as compared to the inorganic semiconductor. Okay, so, uh, so we need a high electric field to break this exciton. It is strongly bounded due to the low dielectric constant in organic semiconductor. That is 3 to 4. Due to this low dielectric constant, the acetone which is generated in the organic semiconductor that is uh, strongly bounded. Okay, so that means to break, uh, to affect this strongly bounded electron hole pair, a high electric field is required. Okay, so that means inside the semiconductor, inside the any device, in the semiconductor these devices, okay, uh, internal electric field is there. But Due to the high uh, strong binding energy, this electron hole pair is less affected by the this internal electric field, internal electric field inside the semiconductor. Okay, so after generation of the acetone, it has to dissociate, right? Okay, uh, so before dissociation, acetone should transfer from one molecule to another molecule. Okay, from one molecule to another molecule. So how the acetone will transfer from uh, suppose donor to acceptor that I will discuss now. There are the three processes. Okay. There are the three processes in organic semiconductor based devices. First is the radiative transfer. Second is the poster transfer. That is the dextrose transfer. Normally, if you want to design any kind of the structure that is based on ordinary semiconductor, we will design the structure in such a way so that it can follow the dextrose transfer. Okay, so that I will uh, discuss now what are the these three transfer process. So, by using these three transfer process, accident can transfer from donor to acceptor. Okay. So, if we have only the only electric field, that is not sufficient in case of the organic uh, semiconductor. Okay. So, first I will tell about the, the radiative transfer. First one. So, first one is the radiative transfer. Okay, so I am giving you the file number one. Radiative transfer. Okay, so radiative transfer that is related to fluorescent mechanism. Okay, this mechanism is dealing with the new electron hole pair. Okay, dealing with the generation of the new electron hole pair due to the absorption of photon in another energy level. Okay, 
Then we suppose if we design the uh, organic environmental based gases, which consists of donor material, another is the acceptor material. This is donor and the acceptor. Okay. Normally, what is happen in case of the radiative transfer, right? So in case of the radiative transfer, the donor and acceptor. So uh, that is the new electron hole pair that we produce due to the absorption of the uh, photon. So suppose we are from this donor, the electron transfer from donor to acceptor. Here is the electron, here is the donor. Okay. Now again it will go back uh, from the uh, low mole level to uh, boom mole level. So due to this transition, this transition helps. Okay, to the acceptor material. Okay. And uh, due to this transition, another electron hole pair will create. Okay, another electron hole pair will create in the accepted material. That means uh, uh, that means the generation of the electron hole pair uh, in the accepted material due to the uh, absorption of the electron from the donor material. Okay, now. Uh, this is the radiative transfer process. Keep <laughs> down. Now, what will happen? Is in case of the radiative transfer process. Uh, the length, so what will be the active area for case of the radiative transfer process? Uh, the length of active area that should be greater than 10 nanometer. Okay, for uh, in, case, in this case, radiative transfer process plays a crucial role. Okay, on the length of the active area is greater than 10 nanometer okay that means this is a simple thing uh, uh, normally the acceptor how we can think that acceptor will transfer from donor to acceptor material okay if uh, one year to hold it that will produce in the acceptor material due to the uh, absorption of the electron from the donor material okay that is, this is the radiative transfer process right uh, now why radiative means? So, why the electron uh, goes from the low mole level to homo level of donor material? That can due to the, this radiation, another electron will be clear in case of the uh, acceptor material. Right? Next is the second one, postal transfer. Okay, in case of the postal transfer process, what will happen? So, this postal transfer that is not related with the real photon. Okay, that is mainly related with the virtual photon. Okay, when the virtual photon, uh, virtual photon that is mainly related with the virtual photon. Okay, uh, how the virtual photon will create? Due to that. Okay. Dipole dipole interaction between two molecules of the material. Okay, due to the dipole dipole interaction between two molecules of ordinary semiconductor. Okay, now two molecules of the ordinary semiconductor. So when the dipole dipole interaction, that, that is the dipole dipole coupling, okay, it's related, it's related to resonance of coupling, okay. Uh, if interatomic distance between two molecules is very less, okay, that is one nanometer, then there is a dipole dipole interaction between two molecules, okay. So, if this thing is happen, then the excitation energy that will transfer from donor material to excited material without any direct transform of electron and the emission of the photon. Okay. 
Okay, we, we may assume that the electron is transferring from donor to etc. But it is not happening. Okay, that means the virtual photon. The phenomena is the virtual photon or that is related to resonance. Okay, here I am explaining this thing uh, by a diagram. Okay, now here in this case you can see By excitation, then it will relax back to the lowest energy level. After that, what will happen? This electron will, electron returns to the ground state. At the time of returning, this electron, this excitation energy, okay, that may simultaneously excite the acceptor material. Okay, this is the okay, this is dotted line. Okay. So, where, so this is the virtual photon. Okay. So where uh, if this is called the coupling, okay. So the transition is not happening. But we are assuming that the electron uh, one electron returns to the ground state that may simultaneously excite the neighbor acceptor material. Okay, due to this excitation, there is a transition from low mole, low mole level to low mole level of the acceptor. Material. Okay, again it relaxes to the lowest energy level of lower level and again come back to the main uh, homo, homo level of the acceptor. Okay, okay, so this thing, okay, this entire thing is known as the resonance process. Okay, or Coupling. Okay, so this coupling, why this process is a coupling or resonance process? So that means the dipole dipole interaction between two molecules. Okay, when this, this thing will happen if the interatomic distance between two molecules is very less. Then this entire, so I have mentioned, I have drawn this line as a Dash line. That means this here it is the virtual photon. Okay. You can see the main transition is from this to this and from this to this. So this entire thing is coupling. Okay. Due to the coupling, after this transition, there is a this transition will happen. That means the position of the electron is uh, at first the position of the electron in the donor. So after the coupling, the position of the electron in the acceptor material. In this way, the acceptor can transfer from donor to acceptor in case of the post transfer. Now I am coming to the So we have to design the organic semiconductor based device in such a way so it should follow the dextra transfer. Okay, in case of the dextra transfer, suppose I am, I am designing the donor and acceptor material. So energy level in dextra transfer is like this way. Okay, the energy level of the acceptor, uh, both the energy level and homo energy level of the acceptor material that should be lie below as compared to the donor material okay then suppose that at first okay uh, there is the electron okay so in this electron uh, in case of the electron two spins are there one is the up spin and the down spin okay right uh, so after absorption after absorption what will happen okay there is a transition so this electron will transfer from here to Homo level to normal level. Okay. After
after this so due to the energy gap between donor and acceptor the electron okay the electron will transfer from here to here okay so i am drawing the second diagram okay this is the transition okay so after the transition first electron will go from the homo level to low molecule of the donor okay after this what will happen so this electron will transfer to the acceptor due to the this energetic gap okay and for case of the electron will transfer from low mode donor to the low mode the acceptor and uh, hole from the acceptor homo of the acceptor hole from the homo of the acceptor that will transfer to the homo of the donor okay so after that what will happen after this transition So well, the electron which is generated in the donor material that is transferred into the acceptor material in case of the Bester transfer. Okay, the one, the two. Okay, so the uh, Bester transfer that is applicable for singlet, singlet, and triplet, triplet uh, acceptors. Okay, so now so these three processes are applicable for acceptonic transfer. Okay, mainly Bester transfer is used. Okay, we can analyze this uh, this three transfer by using the random mopping diffusive theory. Okay, so from the diffusive uh, diffusive theory, we can uh, tell that if we analyze the entire theory, random mopping diffusion uh, theory. Okay, we can conclude that one is the lifetime and diffusion. Length of the acceptor. These two parameters are mainly important if we calculate the performance of the devices. Okay. So next class I will discuss about the acceptor dissociation process. This that is the third process for generation of the photocatalyst for generation of the luminance effect. Thank you.